Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, I take it. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur sent me. You did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Kimball took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. What's this? An arm? A severed arm. I think I need to level up my melee skill. To increase strength will cost 8, while to increase melee will cost 3. But it seems like such a waste that I should spend on melee when strength gives me a bump up on unarmed as well. Quest log update. You rescued Carson from the clutches of the deranged Stan Gimbal. You should report back to Arthur. Lock the door. Yep, I can't seem to open that door. I see a half of a body inside there. Jeez. This Dr. Kimball is really, really screwed up. What's shaking? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger, his trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Who did you need Carson to find? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I might be interested. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? I suppose I could do that. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that, small-time stuff mostly. What this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica, been in the paper. Okay, so above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? I got it. Now how about you pay me for the Carson job? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks. Alright, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. 
Let's see if there's any new questions I can sure, ask him. Pal, what is it? It's just what more. What place you want to know about? It's just more questions about places, so there's nothing else. Sure, pal, what is it? Check the quest log. Uh, jumping the dri jumping the bail. Arthur, the bondsman, has asked you to find some clue as to where Muddy Mike Durbin has gone. Mr. Durbin's lady friend, Marianne Murrieta, put up money for the bond. He lives in an apartment above the pawn shop. So she's basically my neighbor. Let's see if there's anything in my mailbox. $150. Yeah. Marianne must live in here. Lock difficulty of 5. No problem. Just blood buff my safe through. Man, this is one empty room. Phone. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta hit downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Quest log. You have intercepted a message from Mr. Durbin. He's headed downtown to the Skyline Apartments 2A, the residence of a Mr. Milton. He's also expecting a call from someone named Reno. You should report back to Arthur. Let's check my room. Is there anything new in the fridge? Nothing? Nothing. Let's check the news. Still talking about the same thing? Jeez. No one read emails. Hey, I've got some info about money. So what'd you find out about money? He fled someplace downtown. Alright then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find money and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. No problem, but how about that money you promised me? Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Yeah, sure you are. Thanks. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Later. New side quest, Mud Hunt. While trying to find Muddy, Mike Durbin for Arthur, you hear you heard an answering machine message that said he's headed downtown to the Skyline Apartments. Even though Arthur has cut you loose, maybe you can get some money for finding him. But I don't have access to downtown right now, so... I guess it's a side quest that I only, can only complete next next time. I guess I can go to the beach now. Let's listen to these cops. That's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago up in Malibu, I found this guy on the beach. 
but like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? Nah, I've seen shark bites. This was something different. Like whatever killed him, what was doing. The head was missing, the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes, but... Bullshit. No, no. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. And the worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon, and I felt like something was watching me. I swear on my badge today that there was something just out of sight. For a split second, I thought about running to the squad car and getting the hell out of that place. But this day it makes me wonder what's really in there. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right, all right. Or a vampire. Woo! Forget it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding, Ted. <laughs> you were talking about some deaths, gruesome deaths in the past. 